Let's examine the missing values option in the efficient cause analysis for paired orderings. Now for this video, let's use the feeling and stress data that I've covered in a previous video. So recall that we have 53 consecutive days of ratings for these various feelings and fears that we see over here. And then we have 53 consecutive days of stress ratings. Now the missing values option is fairly straightforward. But to make sure that we understand exactly what it's doing, I'm going to cancel out here for a moment, and I'm going to delete some of the daily ratings for the feeling of anxiety. And I'm going to go over to the right and delete some of the stress ratings as well. Now you can see we have some missing data in the uh, data set throughout, but working with the anxiety there might make it clear. So you see I've deleted some of the data. So let's go to analyses, efficient cause analysis, and paired orderings. And for the missing values option, we have omit from totals selected as the default. So let's take a look at the patterns. And here we're working with a dichotomized version of these data. And let's take a look at feeling anxious. And you can see the red line is broken here. That's the cause. So that's the anxiety ratings, or those are the anxiety ratings. And you can see there are the observations I've deleted. And then the blue line, that's the effect. So that's the stress ratings. And you can see here where it's broken. So you can see where I've deleted those ratings as well. Now the possible correct classifications here is 43. So if we turn off the lines here, we have 43 instances in which we have both the cause and the effect. So here I've got some missing data. I've got some missing data again over here with the blue. So where I have both the cause and the effect, there are only 43 instances where I have both of those. And in this case, we have 38 out of the 43, so that gives us a PCC of 88.37%. So the missing data is excluded from this possible correct count here. Now again, there are 53 days of data, so let's go ahead and close, and let's now change the option to include in totals, and let's see what happens. You can go to anxiety. Notice the graph hasn't changed at all, but now the possible correct is 53. So 53 possible correct classified observations here. So the missing values are included in that total. So that's what is meant then by here, the missing values being included in the total, it's in the total possible correct classifications. Now notice 38 is still the same, so now it's 38 out of 53, so the PCC has been reduced to 71.7%. Again, let's just go back and let's switch it back to omit from totals and go to the anxiety ratings. Again, there's the 38, that hasn't changed, but now the missing values are omitted from the possible correct, so it's down to 43, and the PCC again, as we saw before, is 88.37%. So that is what's going on with the missing values option. You're either going to include those missing values in the total that goes into the PCC, or you're going to omit those missing values from that total. And as always, it's entirely up to the researcher to determine which is the best route to go for your particular study, your particular research design, and the questions that you are attempting to answer.